Hey everyone, Ken here. Day 54 of No Poker. Also take three of this vlog. Having a little bit of writer's block, vlogger's block, is that a real thing? It is, because I am definitely stuck on day 54. We are officially running out of stuff to talk about. So, day 54 is going to be Brian Urlacher Day, which reminds me of the last time the Bears had, you know, an official good team uh, and that didn't let us down. We've had lots of good teams that let us down, um, but this one actually went the distance. We got all the way to the Super Bowl. That was a team with Urlacher and Lance Briggs very much in their prime. Uh, defense was just a madhouse over there. We had Devin Hester then who could basically return any punt or kickoff in general. Um, half the time they would kick it into the stands, he'd still catch it and try to return it, which was pretty awesome. Um, actually, that Super Bowl with Devin Hester is the first time the open kickoff has ever been returned for a touchdown. I think that's true. I mean, he definitely returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown, but I think it's the only time it's ever happened in Super Bowl history. Pretty, uh, pretty exciting that the Bears have that uh, record. That was also where Rex Grossman got us to the Super Bowl. That's insane. Although it is probably an argument to say that it wasn't Rex so much as just the defense in general. I remember a Monday night game my brother and I were watching by ourselves and uh, it was after a long weekend of poker and we were just watching the Monday night game. We had slept in for a ton. And uh, I remember watching that game. My brother got all pissed off and left because it was gonna ruin their undefeated season. And then the defense scored like two or three times in the second half. It was insane. It was a great finish in an awesome Monday night game. Uh, and the Bears pulled it through. The Bears defense pulled it through. Um, so anyways, Brian Locker day, day 54. Funny story about that Super Bowl as well. It was almost one year after my wife and I had started dating. We had gone out earlier, um, 2007, for New Year's Eve, ring in the eve, and I had gotten into a small altercation on the street. My wife tried to break up the fight. It ended up breaking her arm in the process. I didn't actually break any of the arms, but you know, during the scuffle, her arm got bent back. Anyways, the funny part of this story is, I know it's a weird story. Um, we went to the emergency room on New Year's Eve, which let me tell you, if there's a time to not go to the ER besides right now, it's definitely on New Year's Eve because there was all kinds of stuff going on in the city of Chicago on New Year's Eve. It was a wild, wild time, but my wife was worried that I was going to get in trouble. She was my wife then. She was just my girlfriend. Um, she was worried that I would get in trouble if she told the police officer because, you know, a guy and a girl come in, her arm's broken. Um, it's New Year's Eve. They want to know what happened. And she's telling a story. Well, you know, my, my boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, uh, the police officer comes in to talk to her and he says, you know, ma'am, how did you, you know, hurt your arm? She says, you know, the first thing that pops in her mind to try to protect me from getting into trouble of being in a fist fight and breaking her arm during the fight. I didn't actually break it, but it got broken, you know, while she was trying to break us up. Uh, so she told the officer that she fell down the stairs. 100% true story. I definitely got questioned after that. And I was like, no, I got into a fight. I was being a ding dong and, uh, you know, she got hurt in the process, but it was pretty funny. So yeah. Uh, Girlfriends out there and husbands, if you do get, husbands don't get in any fights on New Year's Eve and girlfriends, if you do see your boyfriend get in a fight on New Year's Eve, especially if he's winning the fight, definitely don't get in the middle of two dipshits fighting because you could break your arm. But if you do, absolutely do not tell the police officer at the ER that you fell down the stairs. It's never a good, never a good combination. Day 54 of No Poker, everybody. Oh, we do have one sporting news which is important because we don't really have many sports news things to talk about. Uh, Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson, Tom Brady, and Peyton Manning are going to do a golf celebrity kind of shootout um, match between the two of them. I don't remember who's on what team. Obviously, Phil and Tiger are not on the same team. That would be kind of fun. Let those two play against the two quarterbacks. But they are doing it to raise money for corona which is pretty awesome and it will be televised which will be even better because it will give us something to watch on television because i am running out of stuff to watch on netflix and i'm literally down to tremors five and i'm looking forward to tremors six back in the ice so yeah day 54 55 tomorrow we'll see you everybody bye